Hi everybody, I'm Robert Bollinger from Bollinger Motors. Wanted to walk you through this presentation on our chassis and our trucks and everything we're doing here up in uh, Detroit. So let me take you through this. From the ground up, that's basically been our motto since day one, right? We have, we're not taking anything else out there and retrofitting it. We're building everything from scratch, from white sheet of paper and making it the best stuff in the world, right? So we are creating all electric class three platforms. We've been all electric and class three since day one. We are planning on using third party manufacturers to make these. So uh, we have a number of people lined up for that. Next, mainly what we're a big part of EVs, obviously the main, the heart and soul of EVs is the battery pack. And so we are designing our own battery packs, patent pending. And uh, we'll get into that more later as well. So what is our chassis E as we call it? Well, it's the underpinnings to all of our trucks, the B1 and the B2 that you see on our website, and are also our B2 chassis cab. Uh, it's the only class three platform, like I said, that's gonna be sold as a platform. It's all electric. It's gonna have a couple different battery pack sizes. It's gonna come in all wheel drive, rear wheel drive, dualies, um, 15 inch ground clearance. So all the great specs that you see on our trucks on our website is part of the chassis, obviously, because that's what's underneath our body on frame trucks, right? So that's where we start with everything. Here's a downward view of our all wheel drive uh, B2. This is the B2 wheelbase, our pickup truck. And so uh, it's a class three truck. Everything we do is class three. So it's uh, ready for work truck. It's ready for consumer. It's, it's uh, got a lot going for it. Uh, next here, we will be developing after the all wheel drive version is a rear wheel drive only and also doing a dual A version. So we got a lot of possibilities here for our chassis, for our B2 trucks, for work use out there, and, and uh, we'll get into that more as we go. Here, we're showing the frame and the cradle. We've separated them. The cradle is what holds the whole powertrain, both in front and the rear on the all-wheel drive system, right? Front and rear is basically a mirror of each other. And so what we can do is fully assemble the rear and front cradles and then marry them to the frame. So this is great for uh, engineering, it's great for manufacturing, it's great for assembly. And what it can also do is that the cradle can hold multiple different types of motors and drivetrains. So the frame stays the same, the cradle can be assembled with many different products and put in there. So we're very excited about this because it gives a lot of options with minimal changes. Um, here's up, up on the lift, all together, um, beautiful, right? This is the all-wheel drive version right now. Uh, within that, we have portal gear hubs. That's a big thing about our trucks is portal gear hubs, which add to the ground clearance, obviously, but they're also a two to one ratio. So it just doubles what's at the wheels. Inboard brakes is, uh, the brakes are working on the axle, not on the wheel. Uh, we can get to that more later, but it's basically what our truck is, what our chassis is about, everything that all the underpinnings to our trucks is uh, like nothing else out on the road whether it's gas or electric. So we're the only ones doing this kind of stuff in electric and we own this kind of part of the world. So we're very excited about it. And with that chassis, if we sell it to others, you know, obviously it will not be a VIN vehicle. It'll be, someone else will be the final uh, manufacturer of record. So, but we already have people interested in it for autonomous vehicles, for kit cars, you know, airport tugs. Um, so a lot of great stuff can go on top of them. This is obviously our consumer trucks and what we're thinking on top, but it can go anywhere, those autonomous vehicles. We have a lot of interest from mining companies, so um, a lot of great potential there. Now, that chassis then, of course, is what's underneath our truck. So then our truck portfolio, as we call it here, is our own B1 or B2 and our chassis cab. And so um, these are the same vehicle, right, just with the bed off. This is a four-door cab, two-door cab get into it really quickly because we want to talk more about the chassis stuff, but obviously our B1 with all that great um, capability that comes with that chassis, the 15 inch ground clearance, 10 inch wheel travel, hydropneumatic suspension, huge amount of export power, portal gear hubs, all that stuff. Uh, same, obviously is true for the B2, it's the same vehicle from nose through uh, C pillar. And then we have the bed. Um, and then uh, there's you know a lot of off-road and work ready just for these vehicles. So our B2, and B1 or have a lot of uh, work capabilities, a lot of commercial capabilities unto themselves. And then the whole chassis cab is a entirely new world as well. You know, same in the all wheel drive version has all the same capabilities as a pickup truck, right? And then we have actually a lot of commercial interest in this for like, you know, uh, fire rescue where you have to go up into the mountains, right? The all wheel drive and the other wheel drive versions we have, we think will just kind of 
corner of that market, if you will. Here is showing some you know, things you can do with a chassis cab, They're very similar to a gas chassis cabs, but uh, over 10 year total cost of ownership, we're a little bit better. But even if we're in the same ballpark as a gas vehicle now, that's a lot less money than ours. That's amazing, right? Because everyone knows electric is a lot less to operate per year. And over 10 years, we end up beating it. So it's incredible. Uh, here's a breakdown of everything we're thinking for the B2 wheelbase. You know, the chassis that we talked about, the chassis cab, obviously, the pickup, and then also delivery vans. You think, you know, all those vehicles out there where it's, they don't need a super low ride height um, or walk-in van, but more like, you know, the, you know, Red Bull and all these different kind of things that uh, deliver to stores, they can easily do that on our B2. So there's a lot of uh, possibility here. And if obviously the uh, rear wheel drive will be a lower cost vehicle. So even that total cost of ownership will be even greater, will be a lot less money uh, over 10 years. And of course, fleets worry about that, right? So that's a big thing. Again, this is showing like all the different things, con commercial, consumer, government, military, that can be built off of this uh, chassis. Now to the battery packs. Um, just need to touch on this because we are developing our own battery packs and basically uh, we like to say is that we're making the diesel version of battery packs. Our battery packs are full of power, right? So uh, we have the T-Pack that we're making for our current trucks. We are making a flat pack of the 140 kilowatt hour pack. We're also going to make a 105 kilowatt hour pack. Um, um, and it's just, it's all about the high output power, which is really, really needed for commercial applications, right? You think of like these vehicles, pretty heavy. They got to start and go, start and go, start and go. And it's more about that than maybe range. So our battery packs are perfect for commercial vehicles. Quick rundown of the battery. Uh, we take validated modules. We build them into strings, and then we put string after string after string to make basically any battery size in 35 kilowatt hour segments, right? And then depending on if you have a certain number of them, we can either do 350 volt or 700 volt. Once you get up into higher classes, you know, class five, class six, class seven, you're looking at 700 volt needs. So we can do that as well with this battery pack, all with the same BMS, we handle it all. Uh, right now, currently what we're working on is um, suspended battery packs. These are for current existing chassis trucks. We'll get into that in a minute, but 67 kilowatt hours, 134 kilowatt hours, and then uh, stru more structural battery packs where it's, you know, the, the frame is made specifically for our battery packs in the 105 and the 140. We also are looking into making uh, separate HV component packs where you put all of your high voltage components into a box that can also hang on existing chassis. So this is really great stuff for, again, the higher class trucks. Uh, we have a patent pending on the structuring of, you know, how we mount these within the chassis. And then here, you know, taking an existing chassis, building on a uh, protection frame around it, if you will, and we can fit the B67s, the, the high voltage packs, and we can convert a lot of existing chassis into electric this way, right? So class four or five, class six or seven, you can get a lot of kilowatt hours at 402 kilowatt hours. So uh, really great stuff. A little bit more about our patent that we filed for it. It's mostly about our thermal our I-beam that carries fluid through it, and, and uh, it's both structural and thermal. And that what it leads to, both our chemistry in the pack and the way we cool it and the way we have it structured, is that we end up beating everyone that we know of out there that's making battery packs. We, pe we beat them on the power density, as well as staying in the group on the energy density. So it's really a, a pack that no, no, other, no one else is making our kind of pack. So um, uh, we're very excited about that a lot of other IP with our company. And if I haven't covered anything uh, that you're interested in, have any more questions, please reach out to us. Thank you so much for your time today and I really appreciate it, thanks.